I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and Fintech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Brad Cam, the co founder and head of business development for Unstoppable Domains. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thanks so much for having me. You're very welcome. I'm very excited to dive deep into Unstoppable Domains, uh, creating blockchain domain names. I think the best way to start off the conversation would be answering what is the difference between a regular domain name and a blockchain domain name and what makes blockchain so important in this sense? Sure. So a blockchain domain name is uh, part of a smart contract on a public blockchain and uh, each domain name is an NFT, like a ERC721 token, similar to like CryptoKitties or Gods Unchained or any of those if you're familiar. Mm -hmm. So the domains are stored by you inside of your wallet, your Ethereum wallet. A traditional domain name is part of a centralized uh, system called DNS, and you are required to have a registrar a company like GoDaddy storing the domain for you. Mm -hmm. So the biggest difference is custody very similar to you know Bitcoin versus U.S. dollars in the bank? Mm -hmm. Bitcoin stored by you, uh, bank is your custodian. Very interesting. And are there a lot of problems with the current domain system having these registrars holding the domains for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the U.S., you know, I think it's you know not as bad as in uh, in other parts of the world. The U.S. is you know you know generally speaking a very good protector of free speech. Uh, but around the world, there's uh, all kinds of problems. So uh, when the Catalonian independence movement was uh, pushing for uh, votes and things like that, they were using a registry called .cat. And the .cat registry was raided by the Spanish police and taken down as part of this. And the CTO is still on trial for sedition today. Wow. So and that's in Western Europe. Crazy. So the, the goal of... Um, putting your domain on the blockchain essentially is to take control back to it of, of the domain yourself. And, you know, there's this image of uncensorable domains, you know, does this <clears throat> essentially you can put up whatever you'd like in free speech and, and nobody can take down that domain. Yeah. So the domain is stored by you uh, with your private key. So it means it has the, essentially the same control uh, as you do over your Ethereum or your, you know, your other cryptocurrency when you're storing mm -hmm. it yourself. And then the websites are put on IPFS or other peer-to-peer -peer storage networks mm -hmm. uh, instead of on Amazon Web Services or something like that. Uh, and so the net effect is, is that instead of just having my website being stored by one company, it's stored by dozens or hundreds of different people. Mm -hmm. uh, and it could even just be stored by, you know, fans. You know, you could have your videos up on uh, the decentralized web and your fans could store and share those videos mm -hmm with the network. So the more popular you are, the more decentralized your website becomes. Mm -hmm. well, sounds great. And I have already started uh, with the crypto coin show domain that I was testing on unstoppable domains. And it seemed relatively fast and easy to set up. Uh, but if you could explain to, you know, the thousands and thousands of people that have traditional domain names, usually they have a lot, you know, how, exactly what is the process in terms of having your domain name and now putting it on the blockchain? Yeah, so the way it works is you would, so the, the starting point is you need to search for a domain, pick one that you want. So you would go to unstoppabledomains.com. There's a search bar. It's going to look like, that's like our version of GoDaddy. So it's going to look basically like how you would expect if you've bought a domain name before. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can search, you can select. People are mostly getting, you know, their name, uh, some sort of a, you know, social media handle they might use company, business ideas, you know, similar things mm -hmm. as you would sort of expect from uh, traditional domains. Uh, you can pay either crypto or credit card. Domains start at 40 bucks a piece. It's a one-time fee, no subscriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no need for a subscription. A blockchain asset should be controlled by you forever, and you never need to mm -hmm. worry about doing anything again. So it's owned free and clear forever, uh, unlike a traditional domain where you're renting them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after you buy the domain, you see a few fields, you can add your crypto addresses. The reason why you'd want to do this is because so I've got brad.crypto. Right now, you could type brad.crypto into the send field at Trust Wallet or My Ether Wallet or uh, Coinomi or Atomic or many others, and you can pay me in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. I think I've got 15 currencies set up, something like that. Mm -hmm. So it works as kind of like this universal payment gateway for all your crypto. Yeah. But at the same time, you can also attach a website from uh, a peer-to-peer -peer website. 
So if you were to be at unsampledomains.com, you would click manage your domain. You would copy and paste your crypto addresses. You would copy and paste your website hash. Uh, you click save. You sign a message that goes, that information goes to the blockchain. And now when you're, when I'm in a wallet and I want to pay you, that wallet looks up the, looks up the record on the blockchain. And when I'm in a browser and I want to go to your website, you type in brad.crypto. Mm -hmm. uh, you as the user will see similar experience as you would to a .com, but uh, what's really happening in the background is the browser's going and checking the blockchain and finding my, uh, my website location. Hmm. Very interesting. So it's multi-purpose you know, for the first time to be able to accept payments as well as host your website, right? And <clears throat> with this blockchain domain name, you can't access that through, can you access it through Chrome browser and Firefox and traditional web browsers? So by default, traditional web browsers are just looking at DNS, uh, but this is changing because this is new stuff. This is new stuff that was just invented. And in general, I think the browser community is pretty excited about you know, decentralized web stuff. So you'll see native integration soon, but right now what people are doing is, is they're using uh, Chrome extensions. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a Chrome extension uh, that we've created, uh, also a Brave extension, uh, and there'll be more coming there, but we're also working on uh, native integrations with browsers, so they'll work just like you'd expect. Uh, but for now, it's going to be kind of a, a limited uh, a limited set of apps that you're going to need to use in order mm -hmm. to be able to see these websites. Uh, and then over time, you'll see it kind of spread out and, and have the similar, you know, same integrations as the traditional web. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you mentioned Trust Wallet and some of the other wallets. You must uh, be working with the team to deliver partnerships to the hundreds and hundreds of, of wallets and applications that would all use cryptocurrency addresses. Um, is that your main business development is just getting more partners for people to access uh, on the cryptocurrency payment side of the domains? So I think there's kind of three, three areas that we're tackling all at once. I know it's a lot. Uh, one is the payment side. So getting wallets to support uh, and that's been a big focus. And there's, you know, I think 15 or so wallets and many more coming soon. Uh, another side is browsers. So you can use them for uh, websites. Uh, and then the third is uh, tools. So it's easy for you to launch your own websites. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a template marketplace and we're working with various decentralized web building, uh, building companies uh, to make it easy, to give you tools to make it easy to launch websites. So like, it's kind of like, um, Decentralized Wix, you know, so profile page. So with a few clicks, you can just go and build your website. Yeah, you know, I think the website, the website we're building for you, I think we're using one of our uh, one of our web builders. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually require a developer in order to in order to to do it. It's like drag and drop images, add some text, move the design around, and there's a whole bunch of stuff there. There's basically like everything that exists in the traditional internet. We need tools for that for the decentralized web. We don't need to go. We can plug a lot of that stuff in. We don't need to go and rebuild everything. But it's so early that it's just starting. Mm -hmm. So we're really focused on uh, decentralized web tools and getting developers uh, building stuff. That's great, Brad. <clears throat> and for the viewers that are looking at building websites, I saw on the site that the top level domains were you know .crypto, but also .zill. Can you speak a little bit about what is this Zillica integration or partnership uh, and how it's different from .crypto? Yeah, so Dodzill was our first. We uh, we did a partnership with the Zillica Foundation, and we launched Dodzill on the Zillica blockchain. Uh, it functions very similarly to Dot Crypto, except that uh, in general, the Zillica blockchain is extremely cheap to use. Uh, they have really high throughput, uh, but they don't have the same level of uh, integrations and developer tools as Ethereum does. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ethereum is expensive, so Dot Crypto is on Ethereum. Mm -hmm. uh, both can be used for any sending any cryptocurrency, so I can still send Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all my crypto address, all my cryptocurrencies to both. I can use them both for websites. Uh, the difference is really just that they're on two different blockchains. Mm -hmm. That's great. And speaking of blockchain domain names, you know, Ethereum had first come out with uh, some ENS, you know, Ethereum name service. Is that a similar? blockchain domain name service and does unstoppable domains compete with them um, especially on the same blockchain so yeah dot eth was we actually built a demo of our um of our service on top of dot eth uh initially back in uh, back in 2018 um before we went live with our registries and ultimately 
uh, we decided to build our own registries mm-hmm. because we wanted to uh, try out some different designs, mm-hmm. things like no subscriptions. Um, but no, we're big fans of uh, we're big fans of .eth, mm-hmm. and uh, we support it in um, in a lot of our integration tools and things like that. Mm-hmm. That's great. And in terms of the business model, you guys look like you're branching out into three, you know, different courses as you uh, explained. Um, but on the uh, subscription for domain names, um, I guess that is fueling the 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 forty dollar fee for the domains is sort of one of your guys' main sources of revenue. Is that right? Yeah. So we the domains are a one time fee. So there's no subscription. It's just you buy the domain and it's yours. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now there's no there's no subscription business model. Domains will always work like that, where it's mm-hmm. one time fee. We think that's just kind of important from a mm-hmm. you know from an ownership perspective that you don't have any kind of risk that the registry could raise prices in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, this just happened with .org. They just tripled the prices for every nonprofit, every major nonprofit in the world essentially, wow. and they're all stuck because the, that's the website they've been using, and that's mm-hmm. the the you know so we kind of want to eliminate those risks from users um so yeah no subscription at this time and and is it tougher to transfer or sell your domains having it on the blockchain it's way easier so in the traditional system you have i think a 60 day transfer or at least a 60 day period before uh you can update the ip record it's this really kind of goofy system you need an escrow agent um somebody that you can trust to send the money to in order to transfer a lot of times people don't even do that for smaller deals. They just send the money in advance and hope the person sends them the domain. Um, if it's a blockchain domain, it can, you know, transfer in under a minute. Uh, the cost is, you know, a few cents, whatever the mining fee is. Uh, and uh, it can be done trustlessly with yeah. no escrow agent. So, you know, just, I don't know, a million times better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, and, you have this service live right now. People are already purchasing domains. Uh, people are already using this in over 15 wallets. What is next on the development roadmap for Unstoppable Domains in terms of features or expansions? Yeah, I mean, so right now we're really focused on the decentralized website stuff. So we uh, launched our template marketplace. We are encouraging developers to add apps. Uh, you can offer apps to our users. We essentially have um, so we have more than 220,000 domain registrations. So we have a lot of people that are coming through, uh, getting domain names, and then saying, hey, where do I go to build a website? So that's why we have the marketplace, and we're yeah. looking for people who have already built tools or who want to build tools uh, or who want to launch websites with those tools because uh, it's really early, but, you know, it's the stuff works now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, <laughs> there's there's browsers that are getting into it too. It's like... You know, everyone's been talking about the decentralized web for for years and years and years. Well, there there is actually a point where it's uh, it's it's kind of working. You know, you mm-hmm. can you can start to play around and you can see it, and it doesn't look. I mean, yeah, it's definitely behind the traditional web right now, mm-hmm. but it has a lot of features that the traditional web just doesn't have. So mm-hmm. over the long term, this is just this is going to work a lot better. So, are you then expanding your team in that sense to help grow in that area, um, or? marketing people and or are you just looking for more end users and how can they find out more information yeah i mean i think we just so we just uh we're 21 people we just uh, expanded our team a bunch over the past few months and we're now uh we're now heavily focused on on uh, user growth so yeah unstoppable domains.com is a great place to learn more but also our telegram uh, unstoppable domains there's a conversation there Mm-hmm. And we're also at Unstoppable Web on Twitter, which is a, another great place to see all of our announcements. Awesome. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Brad, uh, for the interview. It's been a pleasure. That's all the time that we have today, unfortunately. Uh, but let's follow up in the near future. Thanks so much for having me.